Previously, on Waldwick Elimination Season 7, Lou became the second person eliminated from this season. The challenge was a game of weightlifting. The Sandy Anakins finally pulled off a win, while the other team unfortunately is facing elimination, because of Isaac losing the challenge for the team, who is heading home today. Who will win this week's challenge? And who will be burning some calories at the gym? It's time for you all to find out, on today's episode of, Waldwick Elimination, Season 7. I really miss her so much. Listen, I know how much she is important to you, but complaining during a competition, over your girlfriend, is a problem. Listen, deep down, I know that you are a great person. But now is not the time to think about Melanie. Melanie needs to be off the page, and yes, I think competitions are more important during this time. So, I need you to work hard and try to not think about her. So you're saying I have to try to forget about her? Well, you need to think yourself. Do you want to win for her, or do you want to act like the complainer you were beforehand? I have to think about it. Sorry, I may need some time to do that. I don't know what to do next. Should I continue, but try to stay off topic of Melanie? Or, be the same person I was before? Wow, this might be hard for me. Oh, hey Sue. What's going on right now? Ribbit. Hey Soap. I was just doing some peaceful yoga. What's up with you? Oh, nothing. I was just looking for Washi. Washi? Is he like a pet cat or dog, or something like that? You're nowhere close Sue. Washi is my cloth I carry around. I usually use it for my cleaning. As always, I clean the room today, and I can't find him. You're looking for this? You got to be serious, Coiny. What happened? I was walking to the pond, and I fell into a big pile of mud. I couldn't use the showers, since they were all occupied. So, I ran to get your cloth, and I used it to clean the mud off. My jacket's in the dryer right now, but everything else is covered in mud, including my shoes. Listen, I understood you were really muddy, but you needed to ask me first. Go shower, and then get your jacket from the dryer. After that, apologize to me immediately. Fine. I'll go do that. Wow, never knew you were rude to others when they took your things. Well, he took without asking, he pays the price. I am really angry, since this cloth was something I had for a while. Now, I'm gonna have to wash it, since it has coiny germs on it. Okay, I don't like others taking my belongings. Since I'm used to punish trophy, I try to treat others with respect, and not let them act like my so-called boyfriend. Listen, this is only because I want to try to maintain order, rather than the team stealing my things. I understood Coiny did it because he couldn't use the showers. But he could have just waited 5 minutes, since that's how much you're supposed to shower anyway. Well, that's what Wildwick keeps it at. How the heck did I forget to state that I had the immunity card last elimination? Man, I was so stupid. As much as a streak goes, everyone has to lose it. Luxurious lambs, welcome to your first elimination. Today, one of you will be leaving the show. However, idols can come into play, since I just realized that two idols have been grabbed by two players. However, I don't know who has won. So, let's move on to the actual elimination. To start off, only three of you didn't get votes. Cloud and Marble, you were two out of the three who got zero votes. You're safe for now. Alright. Game on people. Woohoo. Thank God I'm still here. I am so happy that I remained here in this competition. Pillow, you don't have to worry about losing bottle. You're safe as well. Great work. Yes. I'm safe from all that evil. Yeah. Thank you so much, Waldwick. All right. 
Those who are safe, please leave the area. Seven are left. However, the majority of you got only one vote. In fact, four out of the seven will be safe from this mess. Eric and Sky, you both are part of the four-way tie. You're safe. That's good. I was hoping to be safe sometime soon. Carlo would yell at me if I left this early. All right. That's good to hear. I also see that I have the immunity card. Yay. Flower and Sakura, you're safe as well. Both of you will be staying in the competition a little while longer. Yes. I'm safe again. Awesome. Sweet. The pretty girl stays again. Yay. Isaac, Noah, and Lai. All of you got more than one vote. However, the next person is going to be safe from the competition with six votes against them. That person. Hold up. I have an announcement to make. Um, Noah? You're not eliminated from this voting? Why are you interfering with me? I have an idol I want to use. I'm going to save LIY since I know that Isaac has the second most votes. I was probably going to be safe next. Ha 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 ha. Oh my gosh. This is so funny. What's so funny, Wall Dump? I can't believe you thought you were going to be safe once you saved Lie. You just eliminated yourself. What the heck? This can't be happening. Yup. Noah, you accidentally forgot one major rule. Do not use the idol too early until I announce who's at the bottom. You and Lie were supposed to be at the bottom, and Lie got the most votes with 23, and you got the second highest, which was 15. Isaac only got 6 votes, which would definitely save him from being safe. So Noah, here's a small tip. Never celebrate early about this stuff, and come to conclusions once you figure out who's at the bottom. Well, you can't eliminate me, since I pulled the idol. Well, you're too late. Weston, please get this eagle, and fly it back to its cage. Trophy ripped off. Dylan Dawson ripped off. Lighter ripped off. Plauderville ripped off. Anderson Street ripped off. That's it. If you dare eliminate me next, you better face my toxic misery. Pow pow pow. I may use my idol to save Isaac next time. Maybe to try to avoid him being eliminated from Lai. I don't know yet. I mean, this guy went through a lot, and I think he deserves some love. All right, players. Your next challenge is to try to not say, Oh no, what have you done? This challenge is based on a popular NJT challenge. You will be placed in a field of pumpkins, and you will have to pick the best pumpkins to be safe. The team that loses all of their members loses. All right, let's give this challenge a go. And remember, Jack Paul is watching. Okay. Does anyone know how this challenge works? I do. You just need to remember which pumpkins are normal, and which ones are the oh no what have you done pumpkins. Jack Paul plants these every year in Vermont, and all the New England area, including New Jersey. Okay. I guess I'll pick one. Oh no what have you done? Oh my gosh. He got sent back to the campsite. I guess that's what happens when you pick a bad one. Let's hope it doesn't happen to us. I'm interested to see if I can actually find a good pumpkin to pick. I mean, this does seem a little bit like chance. Okay. I got a normal one. Guess I'm good until my next turn. All three of us will go next. Let's hope for some of the best pumpkins. Oh no what have you done? Oh no what have you done? Oh no what have you done? Are you kidding me? Those three didn't even try doing it. Well, I'm going next. Let's hope I don't get a bad pumpkin. Okay. I got a pumpkin. I'm fine for now. Let's see if I can try to get something that is not Jack Paul-like. 
Okay, I got a pumpkin. I'm good for now. Well, I think this challenge is really dumb. Pumpkins are stupid anyway. Who designed this challenge? Pensakin, because he wanted to humiliate us on TV? This challenge was an interesting concept. I'm happy I tried though. Let's hope my team wins. Oh my gosh. These pumpkins are so cute. Careful bottle. Some of those pumpkins are Jack Paul pumpkins. They like to take humor out of you. Oh my gosh. I got a cute little baby pumpkin. Plus, it has a small butterfly on it. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. Okay, my main concern is. How are we going to know which pumpkins are good or bad? Life ring. These pumpkins are random. We actually don't know what's what. So, this is a game of luck. I wonder what happens if you pick the wrong pumpkin. Probably something bad. Oh no, what have you done? Oh no. Where did she go? Wherever she is, she's probably okay. I never knew pumpkins can do that. I wonder who planted these during the summer. Probably some sort of guy who had too much coffee and soda. Oh no, what have you done? I still don't understand. How can pumpkins do that? Probably some sort of Jack Paul logic. We have a lot of that back in the area where I grew up. Come on guys. We need to find some more cute pumpkins. Willow and I are looking for more bug friends. I'll go next. Let's see if I can make Bottle happy. I hope I find a good one. Okay, I guess she was right. There are some small cute pumpkins. I found one, and at least I didn't say the catchphrase. Oh no, what have you done? Well, Coiny is out, but I at least got a pumpkin. I guess you guys can pick your next pumpkins, and then we will see what happens. I guess this was probably a challenge Waldwick planned for a long time. I mean, at least I'm back at the campsite, and I did see Soap and Life Ring, and they told me they just got transported here. Well, that's a good thing at least. After a long period of picking pumpkins, time is finally up. I am surprised to see Marble get all good pumpkins for a while, but then lose to Bottle, picking at least more than 10 pumpkins that are not Jack Paul pumpkins. What? I found all these cute butterflies? I can't miss out on those. Well, I guess you are really happy, and I'm happy your team won again. The Sandy Anakins win another challenge, and the Luxurious Lambs will face elimination next episode. Viewers, you better not vote me off again. Or else, you will face my toxic misery, I said earlier. Or else you're going to do this with me. Fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me. I'm concerned right now. I mean, I pulled the first bad pumpkin, but does that mean I will be voted off first? Well, I don't know yet. So, let's see what happens. Once again guys. You have a decision to make. Vote of one player to be eliminated from the luxurious lambs. Remember, the person with the votes will be eliminated. And don't forget this, Sky has immunity this episode, so don't vote for her to be eliminated. Voting ends, as always, on the day of the ending screen. Thanks so much for watching episode 4, and we will see you all in episode 5. This is Waldwick, signing off.